Well, hello, my good, faithful YouTube viewers and listeners. It is the Jair Bear. Today's date is Tuesday, March 21st, 2023. Thank you so much for stopping by and indulging me for the next little while. Without further ado, let's jump right into this daily rant. Today I'm calling out a punk-ass little cowardly bitch named Jack L. Carstens who thought he was going to come on one of my YouTube videos and leave a comment that YouTube had automatically deemed as offensive and uh, inappropriate. So... Let's let's talk about jack me off for a minute. So, first of all, the L does it stand for loser or low life? I'm kind of curious. Um, secondly, Jack, I'm not offended by anything you write on my channel. I couldn't give a fuck less. But in in the same sense, I I just find it hilarious that you have so much time, and you come on my YouTube channel saying, "Well, no one cares what you have to say." Obviously, because you're on my motherfucking channel. But yet, no one cares what I have to say. So, so kind of, you know, well, you can't explain it to me because you can't comment in the uh, comment section of this video. Um, I don't know, man. It, it just seems like you have a lot of time on your hands. You're pissed at me for some reason. You have a vendetta, which, by the way, your vendetta has nothing to do with me. It doesn't affect me in any way whatsoever. My daily life is great. Um, it's not perfect, but it's great. I do what I can to help people every day. I've met a lot of people. I'm going to continue to meet people. And there's not a fucking thing that you or anybody else is going to do about that, Jack. So, again, Jack, I'm sorry you're such a cowardly little bitch and you can hide behind a screen. See, that's easy for people to do. That's easy for guys like you to do because you have no life. And by the way, Jack, I know who you are. I know who you are. You gave yourself up a long time ago. You're Russ Boggs. And I know this because I have the pictures showing where the glare from the electronic device had illuminated your face. You didn't have it away from your face far enough. I identified you and those people that you sent this to had sent it to me. And I advise you, don't attack those people. Do not go after those people because I'm telling you, you are a sociopath. You have no business going after people who help me out. You are a cowardly little bitch boy, a bald bitch who couldn't keep a wife, who divorced your sorry bitch ass and married another fucking weirdo who has a diaper fetish every time he has sex with her. Don't think I don't know that? Well, I do know that. I read the comments from years ago. How's that working out for you? Just not wearing enough pampers or what? You shit your fucking diaper? She get off on that too? You, Jack, are the disgusting maggot piece of shit. It takes one to know one, obviously, because um, I don't make up fake accounts on, on social media. I don't make up fake accounts on YouTube. This is my channel. I do pretty much or say pretty much anything I want within reason. I don't know what you're so mad at me about. For years now, I have been consistent with my true identity, my face, my voice, everything. What, what do I have to hide? If I'm such a horrible, vindictive individual, why do I come on here week after week to give you the best hour of your life? Because you have no life of your own. And you come here and you watch every Sunday because... Listening to me speak to you and many others all over the world, that is the only life you have. And I feel sorry for you. You need help, sir. You need to seek therapy, and I'm not downgrading therapy or counseling or anything of the matter, but you, sir, you seriously need psychiatric evaluation. Because no one in their right mind is going to take so much of their time and effort to come on my channel and and why the fuck do you care what I have to say anyway you come on saying well no one cares what you have to say obviously because here you are on my fucking channel you commented on my uh, video about um, snow emergencies which by the way I stand by my thoughts on that just like I stand by my thoughts on anything else I've ever said on this channel including the upcoming editorials I stand by all that too. If I didn't stand by it, I wouldn't have said it and I wouldn't have dropped the video on my channel. 
Jack, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I mean Russ. Get your fucking life together, dude. Get some help. Leave me the fuck alone. I tagged you in this video because I want for everybody to come to your channel. I want for everybody to listen to something that you have to say without your voice being altered, without your f face being a black picture. I want you to not be a chicken shit, cowardly little bitch and come to us in an actual video and say what you got to say. I've been waiting for years. Say whatever the fuck you got to say, Jack. Or, I, I'm so, I, I mean, Russ, I, I am so sorry. And, it, and if, it's, if it turns out that you're not Russ Boggs, then I'll stand corrected. But see, that, that's too easy to do, too, because you could have one of your buddies pretend to be Jack Karstens or Jack L. Karstens. You can have any one of your friends sit in a video and talk shit about me, which is fine. Go ahead. Because you are a cowardly little bitch. You can call me any name in the book, Jack. I, I, I'm sorry, I'm doing it again, Russ. You can call me any name in the book, and it's not going to have any effect on me. Your insults bounce off me like common sense bounces off you. Or should I say, I don't know, soap and water bounces off you? Yeah. Um, yeah, so it doesn't bother me, the things you say. I'm just kind of curious, why do you waste so much of your time focused on what I do in my life? Yeah, it's true. I put a lot of people on public blast over the years and continue to do so. But some of them are very fucking deserving of this. When I've been wronged by people, oh yeah, I'm going to put them on blast. absolutely. fucking -lutely. And that's not to say that I have too much time on my hands. I actually don't. I have other important things to do. I have other meaningful shit to get to. I don't devote and dedicate my life to doing things like this. I actually have a life. I have friends. I have family. I have people I can talk to. I have people who actually give a fuck. I have friends, people who consider me their family, who want me around. Unlike you, I'm not a miserable fucking psychopath who has nothing better to do with their time than to scour YouTube and leave stupid comments on people's videos thinking that they're going to make some kind of a big difference in someone's life. You didn't get a rise out of me, but I am calling you out. I have never been confronted with so much cowardice in my whole life. It's kind of embarrassing. And you call yourself a man. Well, men don't do things like you do. Any real man focuses on his life. He has goals and achievements. He focuses on goals and achievements. What's your goal? Popping out another fucking kid? Getting another woman pregnant? I have people watching you. All the time. Every day. I have people watching you. And you think I'm bullshitting. I have people watching your Facebook. I have people, I, I'm more and, more and less going to have people watching your YouTube channel. abso fucking -lutely. That's why I tagged your bitch ass. You have got to be the biggest coward to come on my channel and talk your shit. And you have kids. That's, that's the sad thing. You have children. You want your kids to grow up being bullies? You know, I feel sorry for your kids. I really do. I really do. I feel bad for your daughter who is a cancer warrior. I feel bad for her. She's got two parents who are too fucked up in the head, who don't deserve their children, who should be taken away by the state. There should be an open CPS case on your bitch ass. And if this continues, that's what's going to happen, Russ. I mean, Jack. That's exactly what's going to happen. I keep telling you time and time and time again, I am not the one. Don't fuck with me. Because you're going to have a big war on your hands, and it's going to be so big that neither one of us are going to be able to handle it. So, you better think long and hard about that. Sleep with one eye open every night. Prepare to get knocks on your door, Jack. Or, I mean, Russ, because um, if you don't stop, that's what it's going to go to. It's going to go to a place that you don't want it to go to. 
I'm sorry that you're such a, a miserable person, that you're such a cowardly little bitch that you come up with these fake profiles just to, I guess, I don't know, quote unquote, blatantly attack. I don't feel attacked. Anybody can say anything they want to say. It's up to me to decide how I react or how I respond to someone's comments. I laugh it off. It's like, you fucking miserable coward. And I, I report the comments to YouTube. And I, I don't know, Jack. I mean, Russ, why, why, don't we, um, why don't we put your identity to the test? Because I've been asking for years for you to show your identity. I know that you are who I say you are. And you know it, too. You absolutely know that I know who you are. So why continue to bullshit? I mean, are you really this much of a pussy that you can't come to me like a man? That you have to come up with fake email addresses to email me and you come up with, um, you know, fake YouTube uh, channels or accounts or whatever. And you have fake social media accounts, Jack Loser, Low Life, Look a Lot of Dick, Karstens. I, I, I don't know. I don't know, man. What, what's, your, what's your problem? Did you miss your Prozac this morning or what the fuck? I mean, what, what's going on in your head, man? Are you really this much of a loser? Can you not score a woman? Can you not get a date? Were you not invited to birthday parties as a kid? Did your daddy touch you in your naughty spot when you were a child? Was he a drunk? Did your mom not hold you enough? Did she not tell you that she loved you enough? Is that why you grew up to be a disgusting, trashy, cowardly, little bitch-ass piece of shit? I, I just want to know. I just want to know, Jack. I mean, Russ. I mean, come on, man. Start uploading some content. Are you a coward that you, that you can't upload content to this channel? Is that what it is? Are you too much of a fucking coward? You don't want to give your identity away? Or are you going to have someone step in pretending to be this Jack L. Karstens? Or is that the kind of coward you are? You're just a punk-ass piece of shit, dude. A punk-ass motherfucker. Oh, and by the way, if you do decide to have someone come up on your uh, Jack L. Karstens YouTube channel with a video... Um, we're not altering voices. We're not hiding faces. And uh, you know what? If you're not a coward, why don't you tell us the city and state where you live? I live in Chesney, Michigan. I'm not afraid to tell anybody where what town I'm from. It doesn't bother me. I don't care. Everybody, Pretty much everybody knows that anyway. I talk about Chesney all the time in my Sunday video updates. I talk about Chesney on my social media. I talk about Chesney to everybody. That's where I'm from. What have I got to hide? Nothing. And it's obvious. I come on Sundays every day, every Sunday at 3 o'clock. I go live on my YouTube channel here. I got nothing to hide. If I did, I wouldn't be coming on every fucking week. Unlike you. You have a lot to hide. Just to whine and pout and bitch and groan and bellyache about... Someone who has it a little better than you do, Russ. I mean, Jack. I mean, whatever, whoever the fuck you are. You come on here just to whine and pout because you're jealous. You're absolutely jealous and you're a pathetic human being. You have nothing going on in your life. You sit behind a computer or your phone or whatever you sit behind all day long to kill the time. Because you're bored, you're miserable... Your children think you're a fucking deadbeat loser and you don't want to admit to that. You have no life. No one loves you. You're just a loser. Come on, man. Tell me. Talk to Jer Bear here. Talk to Jer Bear. Why are you such a filthy, disgusting dirtbag? Why are you such a, a heartless, gutless, spineless, ballless prick? Why do you got sand in your vagina, Jack? I mean, Russ, come on. You got to open up to me. Be a pal. Or are you that much of a fucking lowlife scumbag loser? There's a reason why people, over time, stop listening to this bullshit about me. 
because I keep coming back, or as I say, I keep showing up. Every fucking week I come on this channel. Every fucking Sunday I come on this channel. I pour my heart and soul out to my listeners, my viewers. I do the daily rant recordings because people like you deserve to be called out for being the lying, deceitful, scumbag pieces of shit that you are. And I don't have a problem at all. I have no qualms about making daily rant recordings. I have no qualms or quarrels or quibbles about it. If anybody is the disgusting maggot piece of shit, it's you, Jack slash Russ. Because you can't even be a man and come forward with your identity and have a conversation. You seem to know so much about me. You have no life that you come to my channel to fulfill the emptiness or the void that you have in your life because somehow I entertain you. I entertain you so much to the point that you despise me. Well, if you despise me, then leave me the fuck alone. I mean, come on. I'm sorry that you didn't have a dad to raise you properly. Seems you want to call my dad Elmer Fudd, which, by the way, I think my dad would uh, take that as a compliment. Um, my dad likes Elmer Fudd. I like Elmer Fudd. I mean, what a, what a fucking childish comment. Like, my dad, it doesn't even affect him. It doesn't even affect me. And he knows about, oh, oh someone called me uh, Elmer Fudd? Yeah, someone called you Elmer Fudd. Ah, fuck him, piece of shit. That's my dad's attitude. He knows about it. Because I told him. And he's laughing just as much of, as I am, if not more. Because this low life named Jack Carstens who goes on YouTube and Twitter and wherever the fuck else he is has no life. He makes up fake names because for some reason he's obsessed with me. Maybe, I don't know, Jack. Do you really have a, a thing for me? Like, are you trying to tell me something like you want to suck my dick? Or you want to jerk me off? Or you want to be fucked in the ass? What What is what? What is it? What is it? about me that you're so obsessed with you like my my boyish good looks my red hair you like my beard and mustache does it get you off what is it why are you so obsessed with me i know i'm handsome i, I mean the the ladies say it every day they tell me every day that i'm cute and handsome and this and that i know i am do you think that way about me too do you have some kind of unbridled sexual desire for me jack is that what it is? You want me to come all over your teeth? You got to open up to me, man. And I'm not just saying your mouth. You got to open up to me. I know you want to swallow me, but come on. Come on, man. You just got to open up to me and tell me. Talk to me about your desires. Talk to Jer Bear. I'll be your huckleberry. I'll listen. Come on. Don't be a pussy. You know, the thing that you don't like. Because you prefer my dick over pussy. I guess. I don't know. Come on, Jack. I got nothing against gay people. I'm not homophobic. I'm not a bigot. I got nothing against it. If, if some guy says he wants to blow me, <laughs> I'm not going to stop him. It's whatever. Come on, Jack. Come on. I mean, obviously, you can email me. You got my email address. You, you know where my YouTube channel is. Come on. Come on, Jack. Don't be a miserable little fucking prick behind a, a, a screen and, and continue to uh, say things that mean absolutely nothing to me. You got your almost 20 minutes of fame. I hope you're satisfied because I actually have more important, more bigger things to do than to sit here and continue on exposing you for the dishonest piece of shit you are. If you got nothing on me, keep my name out of your motherfucking mouth or I will bitch slap you once again with another daily rant just like this one and next time it might not be so pretty. The choice is yours.
Leave me the fuck alone. Have a good day, Jack. I mean, Russ. And, I'll, hey, I'll leave my fly unzipped just in case you change your mind. I'll leave my fly unzipped for you, okay? There you go. I don't know if you heard that, but my pants are undone. They're unzipped. Come on up to Michigan. Drop to your knees. Pleasure your big daddy. Because I am done fucking around, dude. I am done fucking around. But anyway, that's the end of this daily rant. Thanks for stopping by, guys. Hope that wasn't too difficult to listen to, but I just had to call out this miserable low-life scumbag piece of shit and uh, get that out of the way. So, yeah, go subscribe to Jack. Call him out. Get him to upload a video because we all want to see his face. We all want to hear what he has to say. I have spent a countless number of years coming on this channel every fucking Sunday pouring out my heart and soul I don't hide my face I don't disguise my voice but that's what this this Jack is gonna do because he's a jack off so that concludes this daily rant recording guys I will catch you on Sunday and don't forget to uh, subscribe to my channel and watch for new editorials to appear every Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern Time so much love as always and toodaloo!